morning, YouTube family. Martinez Country Home here. I uh, just wanted to give y'all a report uh, on what I'm seeing in the being Monday morning. Uh, I forgot the date. Um, I believe it's May the 10th. Um, yeah, the 10th. So we had that we had that colonial pipeline uh, that got hacked. So the the fuel, from what I understand, is not going to be they're going to be short out there in the East Coast. And uh, I was expecting that you know maybe prices would be high here Monday being Monday morning. Um, and maybe they still might go up later in the day. But uh, so far, guys, uh, from on the way in, I wanted to make sure that I checked as many gas stations as I could before I gave you all this report. But so far here in San Antonio, the prices are still the same. Nothing's gone up. Um, they actually went up on Friday. The day that happened, um, they went up that day. But from what I understand, the timing was... Uh, it, it, it was in the morning when the prices went up here, so um, either they had inside information or they knew something was going to go on. Um, but so far, guys, today, like I said, uh, the prices are the same here. They're at 249 uh, They've been like that the whole weekend. Um, yesterday, during yesterday's video, I had mentioned how I felt like this was a inside job or some kind of a false flag. Um, well, yesterday... Uh, one of my friends on social media had posted uh, some kind of a, it was sort of like comparable to uh, event 201 uh, before the, the health crisis started, right? It was kind of like predicted through that. Coincidentally, it was predicted through event 201, which was held in uh, October of 2019, right? And it, and it described to a T what would happen if a certain health crisis happened right all right so let's fast forward to 2021 there was a another such event but this one was called uh cyber polygon 2021 and y'all can look that up guys i'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description so that y'all can read up on it but it's uh through the uh, world health i mean i'm sorry the world economic forum and uh with a uh, good old klaus and uh, so this uh, event, this uh, it was sort of like uh, it's talking about predicting, predicting that we're gonna get cyber attacks and uh, we're gonna get um, the infrastructures at risk, all kinds of things, the health, the you know um, the health, um, the health industry because everything's computerized, everything's digital of that nature but I just found it you know once again they're telling us basically they're telegraphing what they're gonna do and to me guys nothing's a, nothing's a, a coincidence especially when it comes to something like that uh, something that big uh, you know when it comes to infrastructure like that like pipe, oil pipelines uh, gasoline pipelines um, so I'm gonna leave the link below it's called, again, it's from the World Economic Forum, and it's called Cyber Polygon 2021. And um, it talks about just different cyber attacks that could happen and how it could cripple a nation. It could cripple, you know, the, the effects of something like that happening. And I think, to me, this is a good example um, of what's going on, uh, what's going on over there with that pipeline. A couple of weeks ago, there was a conference. I believe it was that conf It was. I believe it was part of that Cyber Polygon 2021. It was held here in San Antonio, um, and it was basically a bunch of computer geeks. No offense, it's just what we call them, uh, programmers and uh, people that are that deal with uh, cybersecurity, uh, gadgets, um, hardware, software. Um, it was held here in San Antonio. There was a big conference and. Uh, so, um, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm very skeptical, skeptical of uh, society now, uh, with the, with the powers that be. I believe they run everything, and um, I believe they run everything, and um, 
they're the cause of a lot of the misery that's going on in this world right now. That's just my opinion, guys. Uh, from what I see, uh, when putting all these stats together, and I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir here, but I just wanted to give out a report, guys. Uh, so far here in Texas, San Antonio, uh, prices are good. I'm not sure how long that will last. Um, like I had told y'all yesterday, the, the pipeline is runs from Houston up the East Coast, up to the East, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure where I heard this. Uh, I'm, I, I believe it was from Carol Clark from Never Lose Truth. Um, I believe it was her that mentioned that a couple of, on that pipeline, there's a couple of areas, uh, maybe like way stations that are hubs, and one of them's in Tennessee, and the other one's in Atlanta, and those are the two that are gonna be affected first. And their, their, I guess their satellites, wherever they distribute to, and from there it'll chain react, it'll domino effect. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have, I don't know, um, I guess the flow chart of, of how, of how uh, the distribution runs, but it, is, it does run from Houston, Texas, and east, all the way up the east coast, the south, <coughs> excuse me, the southeastern states, Florida, Georgia, and up on down the line up, up from the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic. Uh, so west, I'm not sure where the refineries are, uh, the distribution pipeline. I don't know how they run. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but there's a lot of refineries in Corpus Christi. Um, and I'm sure there's, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that there's a refine, you know, there's a pipeline running maybe from there up to the Midwest, up into you know, the Western states. So, um, but like, again, I'm just speculating there. I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, um, the pipeline that runs west or whichever direction, however they run, I'm not sure if they're running north and then west. Hopefully, these distribution uh, companies, I guess, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll be prepared and they'll learn uh, lessons from uh, colonial uh, colonial pipelines and uh, they'll be prepared so that they don't get hacked supposedly hacked um, in my opinion it's a it's a it's a drill like many other things are and they they kind of mix in um, reality with it they'll you know they'll they'll mix in it'll start off as a drill and um, you know they'll add to it and and just let it go from there um, let it let it evolve into what it into whatever it evolves in and they just want to and they'll sit back and and see what happens but anyway guys um i want to leave, leave the link below for y'all uh on uh on event i'm sorry not event i'm sorry uh on cyber polygon 2021 and what other and uh what other relevant leaks links that i that i think will help y'all um, what'll help uh, make my message a little bit clearer I'll give y'all some more info but that being said guys uh, what we're seeing right now uh, we're seeing basically the degradation of America um, there's so many things going on as y'all well know uh, supply supply chain is it is broken uh, there's a lot of uh, shortage of materials of different things um I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that one, and I, and I've said it before, but it, it, it's, 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 it's kind of ironic. But we have the world reserve currency, as far as I know, we still have it, and we've been able to buy a lot of products for cheap all these years, all these decades, right? And so there's a shortage, but in a lot of things. We consume consume so many things, but it's almost like I I, I I almost look at America as all these years that we've had that currency. It's almost like a, like the America, America as a nation was 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 in prep was like preparing, okay? Because of all these cheap dollars that we that we print and that the world had to buy from us because that's all we produced, guys, was the U.S. dollar. That was what we produced, okay? Um, we produced debt. 
basically. But with that dead, we were able to uh, stockpile on, on, on everything that we needed as a nation. And so if you look at car lots, you look at junkyards, um, you look at, we have an inventory guys, a, 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 a big inventory of a lot of products. I don't know what happened to those inventories. Um, I guess they get used, but we have accumulated a lot of things over the years because of having that uh, world reserve currency and we consume a lot of it. Yes, I understand. But right now, guys, I guess what I'm getting at is uh, use that dollar that you have while it's still good because they're they're taking it apart. They're, they're, uh, they're devaluing it really fast. And the faster that they print money, the faster that that the Federal Reserve is printing money and trying to keep the economy going, the faster it's devaluing. It's almost like a, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, they need a they need to print up dollars to keep the economy going, and at the same time, it's being devalued. I don't have a timeline when 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 the dollar will reach zero, um, but it, there will come a point where it'll be no good, and uh, you won't be able to buy anything with it. Um, so I just think that that's something that we need to keep in mind. That's something that we need to uh, be aware of and, uh, and 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 just keep in the back of our minds and, and and make make arrangements right now to use up these dollars and and buy up things that that we're gonna that we're gonna need if and when the dollar reaches zero. So anyway, guys. I just thought uh, I'd let y'all know what's going on. Again, I'll leave some links below uh, below for y'all so y'all can check out that uh, Cyber Polygon 2021 and um, and the similarities to Event 201, which preceded um, which preceded uh, the health crisis of of 2019 or I'm sorry 2020. So anyway, guys. Y'all have a great day. Um, probably later as things develop, I'll make another video for y'all. Uh, keep y'all in the loop, at least from what I see down here in South Texas. So, anyway, guys, y'all have a great day. Y'all take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for. God bless.